Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, Apple has released iOS 15.1 Developer Beta 1. As expected, if you follow me here on the channel, we talked about expected release dates and features for iOS 15.1. And here it is. This one is now currently out for registered developers and, of course, public beta testers. As per usual, you will most likely see this 24 to 48 hours later. So stay tuned here to the channel and make sure you follow me on Twitter for more details on that. Now, aside from iOS 15.1, today Apple also released macOS Monterey Beta 7. We also have, of course, iPadOS 15 Developer Beta 1 is currently out. WatchOS 8.1 Beta 1 is out. And TVOS 15.1 Beta is currently out for developers as well. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 15.1 was expected to release today, and here it is. And of course, there's also additional new features and changes that we're expecting Apple to add with iOS 15. Now, before we get to some of the latest changes, I do want to mention this software is approximately five and a half to six gigabytes. So if you're updating from iOS 15 final version, that's the number that you're going to see. Again, don't be afraid. You're not going to be losing five gigs from your iPhone storage. This is simply overriding the entire OS. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the ability to add COVID-19 vaccination cards to the wallet application. With iOS 15.1, Apple has now added this feature. This is all going to depend on your local government, of course, the service that you're using and supported states as well. So this is gonna be slowly rolling out with iOS 15.1, but it's nice to see that COVID-19 vaccination cards will now be added to iOS 15.1 in the wallet application. That's welcome. Addition. Now, aside from that, Apple has also released a carrier update, at least here in the United States. Right there it is. We have the new carrier update 5G UC, and that's going to be ultra capacity 5G networking. Right there it is. So it's now on the status bar of my iPhone here in the United States as a T-Mobile has rolled out that software update or carrier update alongside 15.1. Now, there's also the welcome addition or the re-enabling of SharePlay. Now, SharePlay was delayed from the initial release of iOS 15, and here it is, re-enabled on iOS 15.1, developer beta 1, which is awesome. As you can see right there, we also have a new icon for announce calls. So if we take a look here, this is the previous version of iOS 15, the official launch. So let's go here into the actual screenshot that I have. As you can see right there, the notification icon or the announce call notification icon is slightly tweaked on this latest beta. And as I mentioned, SharePlay is now enabled on iOS 15.1 and you can start using it within FaceTime once again. But again, Apple could still delay this software once again. We're just gonna continue testing on 15.1. So there's about three changes that I've noticed so far. Obviously, the support for COVID-19 vaccines is now available within Wallet. Supported application services and states are required. And we also have the new SharePlay and of course, a new carrier update for T-Mobile was also mentioned here for the T-Mobile network in the United States. Now, there's still a few things missing here. We're still looking for new emojis. The app privacy report category still looks the same. So we're looking for the graphical user interface that Apple has promised. That is still not here with the latest. And we're still looking for IDs and driver's license to be added to wallet. And of course, the Find My AirPods feature for the Find My Network. But just a quick update. We have about three changes here so far. Of course, stay tuned here for my follow-up video on iOS 15.1 additional new features and changes where I take a deeper dive make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace